Onondaga County is reporting one more death due to COVID-19 today. Overall, numbers across New York are improving. Onondaga County Executive Ryan McMahon just wrapped up his daily coronavirus briefing. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was there and joins us now. Andrew, it sounds like the county executive is ready to rock and roll into phase three. Just as he was two weeks ago before phase two, but you'll remember that at this point two weeks ago, the state hadn't said it was reviewing Central New York's data yet, and the state hadn't even released guidelines for the appropriate industries to open in phase two. That led to the overnight drama between Thursday and Friday, waiting to find out whether the governor would approve phase two on Friday. He eventually did, not the night before like phase one, but at one o'clock on Friday for phase two reopen. But the county executive says things are much better in terms of communication with him and the state moving into phase three. He says that they basically have approved it on the regional phone calls, but still he's got to wait for the governor to say it, and he thinks we're well on our road to phase three, but he hopes notice comes earlier than it did two weeks ago. We are encouraging the governor. I know a lot of restaurants would love to be open Friday night and be able to plan for that. Uh, so we've been encouraging uh, if their data uh, is reviewed earlier, uh, that uh, certainly a great opportunity uh, to get some of these restaurants uh, busy. And to give everybody an idea, restaurants in Onondaga County, number two producer of sales tax. Now, one big open question is where Destiny USA will fall into this equation. An executive order still has all malls closed. That means restaurants inside the mall, unless those tenants have their own outdoor entrances, would be closed, while restaurants around central New York will allow diners to be inside if phase three is approved as expected this weekend. So an open question with the mall, and the county executive says he feels they're making progress on their end, but of course, all of this, again, is in the hands of the governor, Christie.